Welcome back to John's Films, your home for DaVinci Resolve tips, tricks, and technology I think you need to know. Today we're talking performance, DaVinci Resolve free version performance. Blackmagic Design gave a huge boost to free version users in the latest DaVinci Resolve 17.4 release. For years, I've advocated the purchase of DaVinci Resolve Studio for two reasons. One, support the company. Two, hardware acceleration support. That hardware acceleration is a special chip that's probably already in your computer. And that chip is highly optimized to be able to encode and decode H.264 and H.265 video footage of most types. That means what you shoot on your cell phone? Yeah, probably hardware accelerated. In DaVinci Resolve Studio, you're able to leverage that chip. Until today, in the free version, you couldn't. As of today, you are able to use the encoding features for the H.264 and H.265 video on the Windows version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, you can only use that in delivery. You still should go purchase Studio to support the company and to get access to the decode function in those chips because it dramatically improves your timeline performance. Instead of your CPU decoding the footage, the optimized hardware decoder does it. Let's step into the free version, figure out how to set it up, and how to know it's working. Here in DaVinci Resolve Free, if you want to check if it is available in your system and enabled, you can go to the DaVinci Resolve menu, Preferences, and Decode Options. Here you should see the Decode H.264, H.265 using Hardware Acceleration options, and you'll either see Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA based on the type of acceleration chip you've got. Now to find out if it's working, right-click on the Windows Start menu and choose Task Manager below. Here you can see my encoder is already running because I'm recording this with OBS, which leverages hardware encoding. You'll want to come and make sure you've as well chosen your GPU. And if you don't see these options, click on this little drop box here and choose video encode and decode so that we can see. Now come into Resolve again and go to the delivery tab. Here you'll notice new options. The H.264 now has also H.265 under MP4 and under QuickTime for the MOV files, you've got H.265 as well. If I select that, and let's just add this to the render queue. With my task manager up, I click render, and we should see a spike. Sure enough, the encoder has taken on more work. This is how you know that your hardware acceleration is working. Now we can see hardware acceleration is working, and you will probably see a 40 to 60% improvement in the amount of time it takes for you to render. If you're worried about output quality, check the native versus hardware rendered encoder test that I did in the video above. Thanks for watching. It's an exciting day for DaVinci Resolve 17.4 Free Edition. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got plenty more videos on DaVinci Resolve coming in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.